Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is day 13 of Kaggle's 30 days of machine learning challenge and today is the second last day of uh, the first two weeks and from day 15 we will start the competition and tomorrow you will get your certificate for intermediate machine learning course. So today we are going to look at two things. This, this day is divided into two parts. So this is part one. And in this one, we are going to read about pipelines. We, we will see what pipelines are. So pipelines are, uh, pipelines come from scikit-learn. So that's, that's what we are going to learn today. We're going to learn about pipelines of scikit-learn. So pipelines are a simple way of uh, keeping your data pre-processing and modeling code organized. So you, it provides you a way in which you can write uh, cleaner code, you can have less bugs, easier for productionizing. So when you're deploying your model or when you're running your predictions on validation set and more options for mo model validation. So we, uh, we will look into model validation in the next part, which will be a separate video. But in this one, uh, we are only looking at pipelines. Okay, so we have all these things from before. We are reading the Melbourne data, uh, keeping it the Y column, that's the target column, dropping it from the data set itself. We are dividing the data into 80, 20 train and validation sets. Uh, we have the categorical columns where the number of unique values is less than 10 and type is object. And we have numerical columns, the D type, being int64 or float64. So all this has been done before. So I'm not going to go into details of this. And uh, now what do we get here? So we have x underscore train. That's your training data frame. And x underscore valid. That's your validation data frame. And that's it. Right. So, OK. Um, pipeline so you saw that we did so many things like uh, we converted categories to one hot encoding we had uh, uh, we were filling nan values in the numerical column or the categorical column so we were doing a lot of things and after that we were doing re repeating the same thing on validation set and then we were repeating the same thing on test set so if you use pipelines, things become very simple. So uh, it's it's like uh, what you want to do sequentially and you write it in a pipeline and then you just do pipeline.fit and pipeline.transform, pipeline.predict, things like that. So similar to how pipeline bundles together pre-processing and modeling steps, we use column transformer. So we use something called column transformer to bundle together different pre-processing steps. So we are not just learning about pipeline, we are also learning about column transformer today. So uh, what, what we have to do in this uh, task here, we have to impute the missing values in the numerical data. And we have to impute missing values and apply one hot encoding to categorical data. So we have seen how to uh, impute missing values in uh, numerical data. So we will also learn about categorical data and I've already shown you that if, if you if you want to revise, you can just take a look at the scikit-learn documentation. So uh, like here you should know that it fills with mean, median, most frequent and constant. So constant is just replace missing values with some fill value and fill value is usually none. Okay, so we have the numerical transformer where I have an imputation stra strategy of constant uh, and we have a categorical transformer. So now categorical transformers have uh, has multiple steps. So uh, the first step would be to impute the values with the most frequent value. So since it's categorical data and then once you have uh, imputed all the data, you can uh, do one hot encoding. So here you see um, this is a tuple and the first value in the tuple is the name so it can be anything imputer or my imputer okay uh, and 
again the first value in the next tuple is also um, a name and then you write what you want to do so like here we want to do one hot encoding here we want to do simple imputation but these are steps and these are sequential and that's why we enclose them in a list okay and then we add a pipeline right uh, before it so we import from sklearn.pipeline we import pipeline and pipeline constitutes of these two steps for our categorical transformer but these two steps are pre-processing of our columns so we use something called column transformer uh, from scikit-learn.compose and column transformer takes these two transformer steps so your first is numerical transformer second one is categorical transformer and numerical transformer is defined here a numerical transformer should choose numerical columns which is defined here and similarly you have the name cat or anything uh, and uh, here you have the categorical transformer which is defined here and categorical columns which is defined in the cell above here so i hope everything till now is clear and uh, yeah now uh, we have the preprocessor which has all these steps so you can just print it and see so what it does it has numerical uh, simple imp imputer um, for uh, it has numerical strategy for uh, numerical transformer and uh, which uses a simple imputer on these columns it has uh, the categorical uh, transformer which uses uh, a pipeline in which we do simple imputation first and then we do one hot encoding on these columns okay i know that might be a lot to digest but uh, when you break it into pieces it becomes much easier to understand categorical transformer you do steps then you do pipeline numerical transformer you can also do steps here but you don't you we are not trying to do anything there and then you have the column transformer in which you just add the transformers which can be pipelines which can be simple functions like uh, imputation and now we import the uh, same old random forest regressor and uh, we initialize the model and now we can create another pipeline so another pipeline has the preprocessor step and the second step is the model so all all these things that you're putting here should have a dot fit and dot transform and or dot fit and dot predict dot predict proba these kind of things if it doesn't have that it's not going to work in the pipeline you will know because it's going to give you an error so we now we built a pipeline with our preprocessor and the model uh, which is a list of uh, tuples and we just fit the pipeline to our training and validate training data and the training targets and we predict using pipeline dot predict simple so now all your code has reduced to only this much and then we can calculate the mean absolute error so let's see what the mean absolute error here is so yeah pipelines are very valuable for cleaning up machine learning code and avoiding errors so it's going to make your life easy so we get a MAE of 160,000 so things will be much more clear when we look at uh, the exercise so we should remember that if you don't know uh, if you don't want to use pipeline you don't have to you just have to take care of the pre-processing steps on your own and most people uh, use pipeline sometimes people don't use pipeline so it doesn't matter as long as your steps are correct it's fine so uh, now here we uh, we have done the same thing as we have been doing uh for a long time now so i'm not going to explain a lot but here we are reading both training and test files so then we are dropping the sale price column our sale price column is the target we also drop it from um uh, uh, we also drop the sale price column after we have selected the target here okay and uh, we also we have here we are here dropping the rows so we remove the rows with missing target okay so if the target variable is not there we can't do anything about it right so now we split the training data in training and validation set we have the categorical columns in the same way as before we have the numerical columns and here 
uh, our all columns are categorical plus numerical and uh, we take the subset of the data that we want to use so let's run this one and let's run this one so this is the subset of the data that i want to use you can see there are some nan values um, that's quite a lot of features anyways so now what we will do is uh, we are going to uh, import the column transformer for transforming columns we are going to import pipeline from sklearn.pipeline we have a simple imputer uh, one hot encoder random forest regressor and mean absolute error and uh, here we have numerical transformer um, which is simple imputer uses constant strategy and uh, the same categorical impu imputer from uh, transformer from before and we put them together in this column transformer we have the model we have the pipeline with the preprocessor and the model and uh, we fit and predict and calculate the MAE value okay uh, so now it says that this is our score and now we have to improve the performance so now it's our turn and what we are going to do fill in the values for the following variables numerical transformer categorical transformer and model and uh, okay so our numerical transformer would be uh to, to pass this part of exercise you only need to define valid pre-processing steps and a random forest model okay sure fine so if if we have to define numerical transformer uh which is this one simple imputer so i can just write simple imputer and here it can be any strategy i can just leave it like this and uh, we have the categorical transformer categorical transformer is a pipeline so we will write pipeline and inside the pipeline we can write steps and our steps are uh the first one is uh, what was that I, I don't remember so we have the imputation and then one hot encoding okay so we have imputation which is simple imputer and then here we have to use the strategy uh, most frequent so it's going to select the most frequent uh, category and here we can write um, so we have the imputation and then one hot encoding OHE so one hot encoder and uh, here what do we have handle unknown ignore Okay, we can add a comma here because it doesn't matter. So we got our categorical transformer and then our column transformer uh, is just using these two transformers on numerical and categorical data. And here we can write a random forest regressor. Whatever, 500 random state is 42. Okay, so that's all you have to do in the first one. So uh, now you have to run this cell and now you have to define a pi pipeline that achieves a lower MAE than the code above. So, okay, you're encouraged to take your time and uh, you can try out different approaches. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. So let, let's just run it and see what happens. So here we have the pipeline, um, which is the preprocessor so let me just define all everything again in the new cell so that we can see what we are changing and we don't have to run two cells okay so yeah i mean the way we did it we used 500 estimators and it already um, changed it so here the strategy was mean strategy equal to median so the only thing we did was to change the number of estimators to 500 and now let's see if I change strategy to median, does it change anything? Okay, now while it runs, uh, here, now you here you can just write, so 17366, okay, that's fine. And uh, here our pipeline, so if you want to generate your predictions on the test set, you just write my pipeline, x underscore test okay my pipeline dot predict and then you're done you don't have to do all those steps again and again and again 
let's create the submission and see um, if we improve on the previous course. I, I don't believe we will, but let's try. Because it's uh, the MA is quite large, it's 17,000 something. Okay, I have saved the file and here now I can submit the predictions. So let's see, here it is. And okay, let me try that again. Okay, now it's running. Okay. Let's see what our score is. So sometimes it can take a while. Depends on the traffic. So we got 16230. So what was it before? Uh, 15334, 16230. Yeah, so uh, not not that much of an improvement but can we can we improve it without changing a lot of things so uh, let's try in in the last one what we did was to uh, use gradient boosting regressor with random forest so i will just do that use 700 estimators for random forest and here i will import from sklearn dot ensemble import gradient boosting regressor and uh, this will be your pipeline one model one rf i can just call it random forest rf right and similarly i don't have to make many changes i can just do model two and here i can make gradient boosting regressor estimators of 500 and here i can write gbm model two my pipeline Two. Okay, my pipeline one dot fit, my pipeline one dot predict. So this is my first prediction, first set of predictions, and I will do the same thing for pipeline two. Okay, so it's two pipeline two, and then when I'm calculating the mean absolute error, I will just take an average of those spreads, spreads one plus spreads two. And now let's see what the mean absolute error is. So now we get much better MAE 15991. Uh, so now here we can do Preds test one and Preds test two, my pipeline one and two, and Preds underscore test equal to Preds underscore test one plus reds underscore test two divided by two. Okay. Uh, let's regenerate the submission file and let's try to submit again and see if we improve something. So you, that, that's how you have to do it. You have to do it iteratively. Okay, I have saved the file. So here, Submit predictions, the new submission file, and it's uploading. It's done. Click on make submission. Let's see. Okay, um, it's still scoring. Oh, okay, we improved. See, now we are 14802. So I think we also improved our rank. Okay, wow, we are back in 200 something. Okay, so this is what it is. This is what the pipelines are. They make your life easy. So now it totally depends on you if you want to use them. If you don't use them, this you have to make sure that you perform all these steps for uh, both training set, validation set. But that's sometimes it's not much difficult to uh, just ignore pipelines. Uh, but if you if you want to write like a uh, short code, uh, you should use pipelines. But anyways, totally up to you. Now we will uh, go to part two. So thank you very much for joining today. And I hope you like the video. If you do like it, do click like, do subscribe and tell your friends about it. And see you in the next one. Bye.